Hello and welcome to Engineer Hash Civil Engineer. I am extremely sorry guys because I haven't been available posting videos regularly but anyhow this is my new playlist. In this video I am going to discuss about the bridges, the basic definition of a bridge and the very much important the basic components of a bridge which everyone should be well aware of. So these are the two things we are going to discuss in this video. So first of all what is the definition of a bridge and with my explanation if you understand the basic definition of a bridge and the basic components of a bridge please hit like button. So the definition of a bridge is here. It is a structure built to span obstacles like water or rivers or valleys or for the purpose of providing traffic, passage of traffic like ferries, trains, roads, whatever it may be. So these three are the images. Uh, this image is the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge and this image is Blokrans Bridge from South Africa. Here you can see the glimpse of the valley and here this is uh, Sweden's Soder Talia Bridge. So this, let us let me again recite the definition. It is a structure built to span obstacles like rivers or water bodies or valleys or for the purpose of providing passage of traffic. That is a bridge. And next, what are the basic components of a bridge? Every bridge will have these three basic components. It may have many other components, but the basic components are these three. One is superstructure, substructure and the foundation. Let me again tell you superstructure, substructure and foundation. So what are the components of a superstructure? In the superstructure, we have the deck. All the traffic bearing portion is called as deck. All this portion, this black bitumen portion is called as deck. And it will have a horizontal slab spanning the entire area. All this comes in the slab. And this slab rests on the girders or the beams. Here this is the slab and the above portion is called as deck and these are girders. And this hollow portions are called as soffits. These are the parts of sub parts of superstructure. And next we have substructure. All the superstructure is based on this bearings. These bearings provide the horizontal, uh, uh, they provide angular or linear movement. See, because the bridges have uh, very dynamic loads. The vehicle carry a lot of dynamic load. So, to reduce the impact on the pier cap, these bearings act as the middle members. The superstructure is entirely based on these bearings and these bearings are on the pier cap. This portion is called as the pier cap and these two poles are called as piers and the bearings are here. This pier cap supports the entire superstructure and these two are the piers. These are the basic important parts of substructure and next we have foundation here you can understand the superstructure is avoid and this is the pier cap above this the superstructure is there so the load comes to the pier cap and then to the pier and that is transmitted to the ground portion this brown one is called as entirely this is entirely a ground portion where you have a pile cap and you have a group of piles the basic use of a pile cap is the there are group of piles so this pile cap 
will make all the piles to act together and from this piles it is transferred to the, uh, the load is transferred to the substrata this is how the foundation sub parts of the foundation are and these are the basic components and this is how the load gets transferred from the superstructure to the foundation so with my explanation if you understand the basic definition of a bridge and the basic components of a bridge please hit like button and please subscribe my channel and please share this video with your friends if you find this useful and you can send me feedback at this email id and you can comment also thank you very much for watching this video